Content moderation is one of the main tools that social media companies use to shape discussion on their platforms. Naively, the effect of content moderation might seem simple. Content that violates platform policies is removed. But once user participation decisions are factored in, its effects can be more complicated. We use a theoretical model to explore this interaction. In our model, each user produces content from a point on an axis, and they're willing to consume content within some interval. The axis might, for example, represent political partisanship. Let's use this simple example and show how, in our model, content moderation can increase participation rather than reduce it. First, let's consider the situation in which there's no moderation. Suppose each individual is only willing to use the platform if everyone else's speech is within their interval. And suppose individuals make their decisions in order from one to four. Then since four is outside one's interval, one will leave, two will be happy to consume threes and, and four's content, four is outside three's interval, so three will leave, and then two is outside four's interval, so four leaves, leaving only two on the platform. On the other hand, suppose the platform were willing to set a content moderation policy. Then, by removing four, it could ensure that the remaining three people are all happy to stay for any order in which they make their decisions. We can think of this as a pragmatic argument for moderation. Without it, the platform will hollow out. We could use a similar type of argument to show how moderation might increase diversity of speech on platforms. In our paper, we use our model to characterize how effectively a natural class of moderation policies can be used to sustain large communities. The class of policies we consider are speech-based, as in content moderation occurs based on content produced by users, not based on what they like to consume, and convex in the sense that if uh, speech X and speech Z is allowed, any point between X and Z should be allowed as well. We also compare our class of moderation policies to a theoretical optimum and no moderation at all. We also explore how platforms with limited computational capacities might moderate using only a sample of user speech and preferences. Our model also allows for personalization where content that users like is shown to them more often, and we can analyze how personalization systems may sometimes paradoxically make it harder to sustain large communities. We also explore how if there are multiple platforms competing for users, depending on the population, it may be harder or easier for existing large platforms like Twitter to sustain their user base when challenged by a new platform like Gab or Truth Social. Check out our paper for these and other insights we can drive from studying the effect of content moderation on communities.